Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah. I was not going to fill today. I'm actually back at the mail, the post office. I don't know why I want to call it the mail station, but it's the post office. That's where I'm at. And uh, I actually got a tear in my eye. Like I said, I wasn't going to post today, but um, I went and Stephanie from Texas sent me this. Look at all of this and this. And she sent me a card. And I won't read all of it to you, but where I teared up was where she said, since I started following your story, I remembered my magic and now I'm laughing more each day. And that's why I do this. Um, yeah. Uh, I've gotten so many supportive emails and just messages, comments from all of you, and I feel the love, and I feel the support, and um, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Uh, this has been quite the journey, and it still continues, and so, um, yeah, I, I can't believe just how kind people have been to me and just how nice I mean you don't have to send me anything to be nice but boy it's just nice and you know what um someone asked for my Etsy store the other day and uh do you know that the Etsy uh members makers people who have Etsy stores are on strike and a lot of them have taken down their stores because Etsy is raising what they take from the creators again you know it's interesting because it seems like being a creator you know when that's in you and that's what you want to do and it's what gives back to the world um that those are the ones that seem to they make the least money and it just baffles me so that's why i haven't made any more jewelry but you know what I think I'm gonna take my Etsy store down and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make jewelry and then I'll send it to, I'll just randomly send it to some of you. I have some made, I keep them in the fridge. <laughs> the fridge isn't on. <laughs> uh, but, um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make it for fun to give back instead of making it to sell because that's just not right because I want to stand with them too. I mean, I have my own store, but it's not like I make a living off of that. But these people, that's what they make a living off of. So, um, like I said, I wasn't going to do a video, but I was just so moved by that. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I show you a day of van life? I don't think that I showed you, or a day in my life. I start my new job tomorrow. So I'm getting things set. But here's the reality. <laughs> Everything fell. I was driving and I got garbage to dump. And yesterday I got a lot done. Right now I'm going to my other esthetician place that I work at. And um, yeah, I just stopped at the post office. Mm-hmm, in the parking lot again. And so, yeah. it's so weird why people would want to have loud cars like that i don't deny you that you can do whatever you want i just don't understand it so okay let's take you on a really normal van life day with me although yesterday was so busy uh that was kind of my normal van day but i got a lot done and so today's getting a lot of computer work done so come on kids get in the back Chuck's lonely back there. See him? Okay. Come on. Let's go. First stop. Uh, well, second stop. Uh, going to my place that I do esthetician work out of, that I've done it, and eyebrows for a while, because I need to get my tools, because um, I like to use my own tools. So I'll be bringing those to the other spot. So I'll show you this. And guess what? 
another rainy day. Okay, let's go in. And now we're at pretty much my second home, Starbucks. Oh, and there are some firefighters. And look at how windy and cold it is. It's like raining sleeting. Thanks, Minnesota. just left Starbucks. I was probably there for like two and a half hours. And I wasn't planning on doing this today, but it looks really simple. So I'm going to do this. It's the RV Level Leveler Pro by Rhino. And so I am going to put this up. I can tell you now, I've been parking at the bottom of my uh, sister uh, and brother-in-law's driveway right now because I'm waiting to help my mom move and then I'll move to my spot that I'm renting but you know you're not level when the water pools a certain way in your sink so this is something that I've really needed and it says QC pass so it looks like it was in that's what it is and there's instructions inside and it said 90 days money back guarantee no questions asked if amazon does not allow to return message seller to get full refund so can't go wrong i think it's like 99 dollars on amazon but they also sent me a code for you guys so i'll let you know what that is but let's put it up i'm thinking of putting it right there and yeah and i already uploaded the app I'll show you because I was looking at the direction. So here's um, how you put it up. It has screws or a double-sided sticky thing. Here is the leveler right there. And you just have to make sure that it's on. Oh yeah, that'll work perfect like that. And that that's level. And here are the, the instructions. And there was a, um, what do you call it, where you can scan it to upload the, the app, because it works off of an app. And, okay, I can't find it. Okay, here we go. So you just upload that and then it goes on your phone. So let's see, I'm gonna put that up there and let's see how this works. This is the sticky thing on both sides. So I am just going to, oops, don't have the camera on what I'm doing on the back of that. And let's, I wonder if I should put it there or maybe here. And you wanna make sure that this is level. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. And you can screw it in too. I may do that. I have my screwdriver, my electric one, but for now, that'll work. So I turned it on, you turn it on under here, and then on the app, it connected and it beeps twice. And then I will show you, cause I use my phone to video, I will show you the app and what comes up on it and the different things it tells you.
And that was it. I have to say, you know, I am not technical. And that is one of the easiest techie things I have ever set up. And so it's up there and I showed you the slides of on the um, app and you have to pick uh, like what type of rig yours is, like mine's a class B, that was one of the options and then um, the measurements. But other than that, and then um, you can turn it off to save battery power, like just from here. And if you don't turn it off in an hour, it'll go on sleep mode and you can set it um, also on your uh, phone. So <laughs> that's the easiest thing I ever set up. And what a nice thing to have in the rig. I've been wanting to get one actually for a long time because uh, I know it's important because especially when the tanks are getting full, that things are, you know, at a an angle, it's not good. And so what an easy solution that is. So the Rhino, RV Level Pro, and like I said, I think it's $99 on Amazon, but they did give me a code. It, it's Adventures 50, so 50 Adventures 50. I'll put it down below, and um, you get 20% off from April 22nd to May 22nd. So I didn't plan on doing a review today, but I just got this, and it's raining, and I figured it's I read the directions when I was in Starbucks I'm like I think I can do that and I did it I did it see you can do anything okay you know where we're going next we're going to work out yep I've worked out every single day even the day I returned uh, from my cross-country trip trip I worked out and I've worked out every single day so let's go to the gym I also wanted to show you some of my microblading work. So this is how she came in with them drawn in. She didn't have any eyebrows. And this is her right after microblading. So you can see I make like strokes. So it looks like hairs. Um, so she had nothing either, nothing. And this was right after. Your little red just for like 30 minutes. She was so happy, she cried. So that is the before and after, sorry for the um, reflection of the thing, but yeah, right after. And so yeah, a lot of people cry. So this is close up, so you can see they look like hairs and they look even more so after they heal because I just deposit the ink to like the second layer of skin. Here's another one. She cried too. She said she did a happy dance the next day. She had nothing. And then there we go. And I think I might have, that's her other side. Oh, that's her before and after. So yeah, that's what I love to do. That's microblading. That's tattooing. That's why I have a tattoo license. So there you go. We're at the gym and it's storming. This weather is so depressing. I was going to take a shower after the gym, but uh, I didn't want to take a shower and then like get my hair all wet and stuff. So I think I'll take a shower at my mom's house tonight. Um, yeah. And a couple things. So, you know, I want to write, produce, and direct. Well, I reached out to, I used to work with a studio um, doing makeup. I worked with them a lot. And um, they were called Dream World, but not the Dream World like in California. It was here. Really nice studio. But do you know they had to close with COVID? Uh, you know, there's a lot of overhead to have a studio. And when you couldn't do any shoots because people couldn't be by each other, a lot of people had to close down. I know the same with photographers and even makeup. Thank goodness I had other things to fall back on because this was a no go. But uh, he reached out to me back today and they're working freelance and they do a lot of out of town shoots, he said. But sometimes they do them in town and he'll call me and then he offered to connect me with someone that used to work for them I think I met him once or twice, 
but he's a free, freelance director, producer, writer that uh, does local stuff. And so what I would do would be like intern. I would work for free and just work on set and just learn that way. And I also wanted to say too, so a lot of people have been emailing me, um, really long emails, which is great. I mean, I love to hear from you guys, but I just want you to know that I read them, but a lot of times I cannot respond. It, it's just not possible. It's just not feasible. The amount of time that I have in my day and the things I have to do. And, um, you know, I'm starting my new job tomorrow and I'm preparing for that. And just even fielding emails from, uh, you know, people wanting me to review stuff and stuff like that, and just my normal life. I even, I'm stressed out. I started biting my fingernails again. So um, just know that if you don't receive a response from me, it's not because I'm avoiding you or anything. It's just not physically possible. And a lot of people want to talk to me. Um, you know, they want to be friends, which would be great, but I don't even have enough time for my own friends to meet up with now that I'm home. I just, it's just not possible. My life is really busy and really stressful at the moment. Um, and so it's kind of like van life stressful because I am living in my van. And then even more so because I'm back and, you know, taking care of everything and getting jobs. And me in two weeks, I did my taxes. I found a job. Now I have to, you know, starting a new job is always stressful. Uh, so I just wanted you to know that, you know, if you reach out to me and I don't respond, it's not because I don't want to. I just, it just is, I don't have enough time. And especially if I write back, then you write back and it goes back and forth. And I just don't have time for all the people that write me. But I truly appreciate you taking the time to write me and say such nice things and stuff. But again, I don't have time to be friends. If you join my Patreon, I offer um, one Zoom call uh, after joining Patreon. So if you want to do that, you can do that. It's only $6 a month. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. Um, so I just wanted to cover that. Okay, I'm going to run into the gym. And then we're still going to go somewhere after this. A day in the life. Okay, let's go. So, still storming here. This is what I look like after just running from the gym into my van. And I'm a little miffed. So somebody wrote me in a comment on today's video that someone wrote, did a video about me and said, I make $3,000 a month on YouTube. Here, I'll show you the video even, the thumbnail. Okay. I didn't watch it. This pisses me off. There's so many people from when I started, they use my picture as a thumbnail and I'm not sure why, like I'm a nobody YouTuber. <laughs> I've been on for what, five months, something like that. Uh, yes, this month. So you get paid once every month as a YouTuber. I get paid, you get paid, everybody gets paid on the 21st of each month. And this month I am making 3000 because my clothes optional video got over half a million views. So it went kind of semi-viral. I don't even know at this point how many it's gotten. I don't look back at my videos once. I don't even honestly look at the analytics. I just put out my videos and that's that. But so uh, yeah, no, I do not make 3000 a month. I'm making it this month because of that one video and that's very abnormal. My normal is somewhere between like 800 and 1200. And so let's say it's 800. Then I put out 12 videos, I do three a week, and it means I make $66 a video. So anything up from that, I'm making just a little bit more for each one. And uh, yeah, so don't let anybody sway you wrong saying that I make $3,000. Why would I get a job if I was making that much money, it wouldn't make sense that I would lower my video if, you know, I just said I can only do like two, maybe even one 
because I'm not making that much. You have to understand, YouTube is not static like that. You do not make the same amount of money. And just because of that one video, every once in a while, I guess you get a big hit. And, um, and that's why it's that much this month won't be that way this actually I just looked at the analytics but well, like I said I don't see how many people you know like I don't keep close tabs on all my videos but I can go in and see oh you know what I'm going to take a screenshot of what I'm making right now hold on So I just took a screenshot of that, and as you can see, it's eight hundred and I think thirty-eight dollars and nineteen cents is what it said. Um, and we're already what at the because it goes till the end of the month. So what I have like what are we in April? Like nine more days. So I don't know how much more I can make in nine more days. So let's say I probably make about nine hundred this month, maybe. I don't know. Interesting. All right, let's go to our next stop. I am at the library. I'm at the library and I'm going to be here for a couple of hours because I am going to be getting online and registering on like 20 um, closing sites and that's where you get notice if you want to pick up a closing or not. And uh, again, why would I be looking for even more jobs if I made $3,000 a month on YouTube? just ridiculous. It's already in a bad mood because of the rain, but this even pisses me off more that people lie. Um, I mean, I don't know about you, but I can't live off of $1,000 a month or even $1,500 a month or even $2,000 a month. I got bills to pay. I have to pay for my eye surgery. Um, and with the 3,000, I was so grateful that I am getting that because my daughter has a summer class and I told you her dad doesn't help at all, even though he is wealthy um, with college or anything. And so I told her, her class is $1,200. So I told her I would pay for that myself. And so that's where most of that is going to. So, okay, I'm gonna let you go. I'm all wet drag my computer in there and sit there for the next couple hours. It's like four o'clock right now, 4.04. So I'll probably get back home about seven, I'll stop and get some gas. Tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment, then I start work at noon and I work till like five, then I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna do um, uh, my talks with Joy for Friday. And then I have to edit that and upload that Friday. And I work Friday too. And I may be working Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm going on an adventure. So, the rest of my week is pretty darn full. Okay, you, go out make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van. But you know what, if you do YouTube, you could just make $3,000 every month, I guess. So everybody start a YouTube channel. It's easy. Uh, go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And go get blood, go get plasma, and don't you dare forget that you're magic. And don't let other people upset you. Like that just upset me. Just caught me off guard. I just hate it when people use my picture for their thumbnails and their point of conversation. So anyway, just to get views themselves. I don't use clickbait and I won't ever. All right. I'll see you in the next one.